Hi everyone, it's Dr. Fasonic coming in from uh, Wheeling, West Virginia, where I live. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. It is the first time in 19 years of teaching I've missed the first day of class. And I'm not too happy about it. However, I have a good reason. Over the break, towards the end, I developed shingles, which is uh, from the chicken pox um, virus that, you know, most kids get chick chicken pox. And it comes out of shingles later when you get older, I guess. And it's like super painful and extremely fatiguing. Um, and it's also contagious to certain people, like people who haven't had chicken pox or um, pregnant people or um, people who are immunocompromised, like from HIV or cancer or things like that. And so I'm kind of contagious still. And in order to prevent me passing it on to you and to make sure I'm rested enough to really give my all this semester, my doctor wants me to stay home until Monday. So I will be back on Monday, January 26th, just in time for some fun, like a quiz. And, but I'll tell you more about that later. Anyways, I'm so sorry to miss you today, but I thought I would um, go over the syllabus a little bit and just tell you about what we'll be doing um, this semester to give you an idea of what's up. I am really excited about this semester, and I've told some of you since you took me last semester for um, the other class that what we would be doing, and we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Thankfully, the university, um, when choosing or whoever chooses, when our spring break is, they did a great job this year because they divided the semester exactly in half in terms of weeks in the first part and weeks in the second part. So you can really think of this class as kind of like broken in, in half. In the first part of the semester, we will be focusing on that great book I told you about all over break. I kept telling you, you got to read this book, A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson, which is about his journey um, to try to through hike the Appalachian Trail. And uh, we will be talking about that. All of the assignments in the first half of the semester will come from that. And I can give you an idea here. I've got some that I can read off to you. Of course, the syllabus is on D2L, and I expect that you will read that um, for yourself because I'm not going to read it to you and bore you in, the colleague who is probably over there or maybe over there who came in um, to fill in for me today. Uh, I don't want to read it to you. But please do read it because it has all the important information on the class. And we will take a few minutes to go over it together when I come back. So anyway, um, the first thing, of course, is that reading quiz. You have a quiz on Monday, January 26th, the day I come back, so next Monday. Um, it is on the entire book. I did email you several times over the break to, to let you know <clears throat> that you would have to have it read by then. It is not a fill in the blank. It is not a multiple choice. It is an essay quiz on the book. So you have to make sure you've read it. And I understand the temptation going online and reading those summaries and all those things in the Cliff Notes version or whatever they're calling the Spark Notes maybe. Um, but really read the book because we will be using it so much in the first half of the semester that you'll be lost if you haven't read it and understand what's going on. It is not a complicated book to understand. So I don't feel like we have to discuss it before we take the quiz in order for you to do well, but please read the book. Read, read, read. Anyway, so after the reading quiz, the next thing you'll do is something I'm calling an expanded bibliography. If you look at the end of A Walk in the Woods, he lists a bibliography of sources consulted for the book, and it is way out of date because the book was written, I think, in 1996. So what I want you to do to get practice with MLA style is to write an expanded bibliography, update his bibliography, and we'll go over all the things that you need to include. But this will give you practice with citing um, websites, citing videos, books, articles, and those kinds of things. We'll go over MLA style a couple for a couple days, and then we'll talk about it, and you'll put together a bibliography, and that, that'll be your first major assignment after the quiz. The second thing I'm going to have you do, he visits a number of places on the Appalachian Trail on his journey, and some he doesn't visit. There's tons of places because the Appalachian Trail, which we'll talk about when I see you on Monday as well, stretches from Maine to Georgia, just like the Appalachian Mountains and, um, and the whole region of Appalachia, in fact. So what I want you to do is to take one of those places that seems interesting to you and write up, in fact, you and at least one other member of the class will choose one place, do a write-up of it, do some research about it, what's fascinating, what's interesting, how does it relate to the trail, and then you'll do a presentation. 
sometime later um, in the first half of the semester. And the presentation will really be any way you want to do it to make it interesting, because writers are often asked to present something in an interesting way, do some research and tell us all about it, and this will be your chance to practice that skill, because everything we do in here is connected to research and writing and also practicality. How can writers, real writers, professional writers, um, use those in the workplace and in other environments? Um, also, and this is probably my famous favorite assignment of the semester, I am going to ask you to write a proposal to get some money from a fake organization to hike, do a through hike through the Appalachian Trail. What you will have to do is do research on the types of equipment you need, how much it costs, how much food you need, all those things, where you'll mail it from, and so forth. You will have like three weeks to work on this. Um, there are plenty of resources online, which I'll be sharing on D2L, that will help you figure out what you need to include and what and so forth. Um, the purpose of this assignment is to get you in some experience with writing a grant proposal, with also coming up with a budget, and how do you integrate research and document sources in that context. And so that will be the first half of the semester, and we'll sort of end there with us discussing how much everybody thinks that it will cost them to hike the trail because it is not cheap if you do it in a safe way and a comfortable way, as comfortable as it can be. Anyway, so the second half of the semester we will be pairing up, and this is the exciting part, with a local historical society that works in conjunction with the Heinz History Center. I've been partnering with them for two years, having students in another class do digital stories. But in this context, since you're all writers, they all need things done for them. Like one organization needs to have their newsletter redone. Another um, uh, small historical society needs to have their website done. And these are historical societies all around the region. And you'll have a lot of flexibility over who you can choose. But you'll be working with somebody else on coming up with whatever they need done. And it could be a website. Um, it could be... Um, Again, a newsletter, it could be a brochure, it could be some writing uh, for an intro to a book that they're working on, or it could be editing something. We'll try to match your skill set to what they're looking for. So that's what's coming up, and I am so excited about the second half of the semester. So a guy from the Heinz History Center, my friend Bob Stakely, um, who is their education coordinator, will be coming to visit Cal U, and you need to be there that day. It is on March 18th. And I'll tell you more and I'll update you after that, but that's like the Wednesday after spring break. He will be coming to talk to us and we'll make our selections at that point and everybody will get paired up. The other thing you have to do in the second half is we're going to look at the textbook. And let me see if I have it here. Yes, the textbook is to tell the truth. This is the, the teacher's version of it. <laughs> and it's backwards, I see. Anyway, um, for to tell the truth, there's a lot of great chapters in the second half of the book. We will be looking at those, and they cover things like um, how do you deal with subjects in research and in writing. Um, let me see. What else does it cover? Narrative persona, using yourself in a piece of professional writing. How to write scenes um, when characters are real people. And there's a couple more, but what this, you know, finding story in a situation, this will help you figure out how you're going to integrate research into longer projects. And so one of the other things you have to do in the second half of the semester is write an essay, a creative nonfiction essay that has elements of research that need to go into it. So you could research um, a local place or something that is of interest to you, but you could also research your own family and incorporate... Um, interviews from people. So this is a broad assignment, but I wanted to put one assignment in this class that was solely your own, with your own interests, that you could run with and do whatever you wanted to. And we'll workshop those essays, and then the final draft of it will be due at the end of class in your final portfolio. And that's where I want to go next. So the last thing you have to do for this class, after it's all wrapped up, is take all of your writing and also parts of your journal, which, by the way, everybody needs to have a journal and bring it to class with them regularly because um, we'll be doing a lot of writing prompts in class. Um, <clears throat> but what I want to make sure you do is to save everything that you turn into me. Collect it all. Every assignment that I give back, make sure you're collecting all your journal pieces and so forth, and put them all into <clears throat> a portfolio. Those of you who have taken me before, I wish I had brought a, a copy, but I'll show you in class of what they look like. You just get them spiral-bound, 
<coughs> excuse me, over in the library, and it's like $2.50, and they put it all together. But you have to make sure that you have copies of all of your assignments and your journal, and also you'll write a reflection statement saying, here's what I learned in this class, here's what I thought went well, here's what, and, you know, this is kind of to pull all, the class all together. It's your final, in, in essence. The other thing <coughs> that we have to do um, is go to the celebration of student writing, which will be on April 30th in the Convocation Center. And in essence, that serves as your final exam because on that day, you will bring whatever you created for the local historical society to the Convocation Center and display it in some way. And so some of you, like if you do a newsletter, for example, you might blow that up on a big piece of um, poster board so that you can show it to an audience. People will come in and some of you may have participated in the celebration of student writing in the past. We've had them I think for maybe since 2006 or something so it's been a while maybe nine years eight or nine years and so some of you might have participated in that before but the idea is that we all gather together to talk about all the cool writing stuff that we've done all semester and this will give you an opportunity to put that out there and to to display your writing. Um, I think that's about it actually. I think we can wrap it up for today. I, I said I'd go about 10 minutes and I see by my timer on my computer it's been about 11 minutes or so. So anyways, I am starting to feel better. I'm super, super tired, but I'm hoping that if I stay out for the rest of this week that by the time I come back I'll be back to my old energetic self again and that'll be good for you and good for me. So for homework, Friday. What you need to do is go to D2L and read the syllabus. Just read it, read over it, make sure you understand what you're committing to by staying in this class. The second thing you need to do is go on D2L while you're in there looking at the syllabus. Go to the discussion board and by 2 p.m. on Friday you need to go there and hopefully everybody knows what the discussion area is on D2L. If not, ask a classmate. Somebody in here is about to know. Um, by 2 p.m. on Friday I want you to write a minimum of 200 words, no, 100 words, 100, where you describe a journey you have made, either physically or psychologically, and compare that to Bryson's journey on the Appalachian Trail. So that's what you need to do. And go back and respond to at least three of your class members. So we're talking a minimum of 100 words. You could obviously go over that and telling your story, however you want to do it. But this will hopefully get us connected to the book and it'll give you an opportunity to do some writing, and I'll get to know you a little bit better by reading what you have to say. Don't forget that by Monday, you need to make sure you have read the entire book, A Walk in the Woods. I will be posting a study guide on D2L. If I were you, I would read that study guide over, because maybe some of those questions will be on the quiz. Anyway... Well, again, I'm sorry I have missed you all. Please do go to D2L whenever you can. I'll see you on Monday. We'll take the quiz. We'll talk a little bit about the syllabus. Uh, the quiz will probably take the majority of our class time. When we come back on Wednesday of next week, we'll go into a discussion about a walk in the woods. We'll talk about MLA style and really get ourselves underway. So, anyway, thank you to my colleague who, wherever they are in the room, I really appreciate you coming into class and taking care of this for me. And... I'll see all of you on Monday. If you have a question for me between now and then, please email me. I am thankfully able to work a couple hours a day, so I'll be checking in with my email to see if any of you have any questions. So enjoy your first week back. I'll catch you when I get there. Talk to you later. Bye.